OCALC Pro version 5.02, there are several options available for determining the tension of your spans. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to utilize the tension driven by a table option that is available. As you can see, I have a simple pole constructed here with several spans on it. We're going to just select one of those spans. And we can take a look down at our data entry panel where we have the option to look at the tension sag filter where we can see that our tension type is currently set to static. Now if we wanted to select this and choose a different option, we would select our table option where tension is set based on a table that is provided by the user. So if we select this option, nothing else in the screen appears to change because we have to create our table. We can do so by selecting this light blue dot next to tension, which will open our span tension versus length table. Now in this table, the first thing that we're going to do is add our length values, because the way that this table works is that you can associate a given span length with a set tension. So when you initially open this window, you can see that at zero feet, our tension is set to 500 pounds. So we can add as many values as we like using the value add button. It will add by default a 10 foot length associated also with 500 pounds. And we can go ahead and add several of these. And then we can go through and change our length to whatever we like, say 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet. Then we can go and change our tension values. So at 100 feet, we can say change this value to 750. Then we can change this value to 1000. And to have our value sort of taper off, we can change this value to about 1100. Now with this created, what our table is going to do is linearly interpolate values a given distance from, in this case, our pole and our insulator. So once you have this table created, you want to save it because it does not save automatically. So if we do a quick file save, now the tension for our span is being calculated based on our table, which if we were to hover over a different span, which is currently set to static, we can see that where our tension type says static, you can also see the tension is 366.3 pounds. But if we hover over the span that we just changed, we can see that our tension type is set to table. And instead of a value, we just see a numeric representation of all the values that we put in for our table. Now what we can also see is that while we change the tension for, say, our four span, our back span is still set to a static tension. So rather than recreate our table, if we go down and reopen up our table, we can export those values under our value dropdown and do a quick export. In this case, we'll just say test. We can do a save. And we can close this window. Now if we select our backspan and change our tension type to table and open up our span tension versus length table, you can see that there's nothing populated. So we can import the table that we established for our four span. Those values populate. We can do an additional save. And we can see that now both of those spans are set to have the same type of tension. Lastly, if we wanted to make additional changes to our tension table, we can open it back up and say for argument's sake, we wanted to remove some of the length values. This can be done under the value dropdown under remove. 
and you can add additional values which if you highlight the preceding length it will add new values between the highlighted length that you have and the next option down so if you can see in this example because I had selected a zero foot length while still having the 100 foot length existing the values that were added were values between 0 and 100 whereas if I select my 100 foot length and select add it will using the same increment increase my my value as well now under the sort function it simply reorders the values in length from low to high if that's something that's out of order for example if I change this to 500 you can see what it's doing to my table you can just do a sort and it will correct that for you now while it corrects this it is ordering only by the the length and not taking the tension into account and again I can just remove all these extra values this way and get my table back to however I'd like it. If I wanted to save those changes, I would do an additional save, but in this case, I'm just going to close it. And that way, none of the changes that I made are being applied to my span.